we're here on the last week. We are. And everything runs smoothly. Um, for the most part, um, we've had a little bit of a hiccup with our staircase manufacturer. Um, the, unfortunately, they had a transport issue, um, which meant our stairs would have been delayed by about three or four days. Um, so yesterday, to avoid that delay, I ended up doing a 200 mile round trip just to go and collect them, um, to get them back on site, get them fitted today, so we can finish on target at the end of the week. And they're all in place now? They're, they're all in place. Excellent. Uh, plaster is already racing up with the plaster boards, getting it all sealed in. Um, plaster it down tomorrow, bit of second fix work on Friday, job done. And you're off site on Friday? Off site, day 20, Dundlestead. Excellent. So here's the stairwell got, got, uh, being formed. Um, we've got a bit of ceiling left to cut out. Start making all these walls down to the original house staircase, um, connecting the new structures to the existing structure. Um, job, jobs are good then. Is there any obstacles that you've, you've occurred in this project that you've come across compared to other projects? You know, just anything that you've had any issues with, other than the staircases, of course? Um, to be honest, not really. I mean, majority of these projects are pr pretty universal. It doesn't matter what property you're working on, uh, they are all pretty much identical to one another. Um, the only difference with this one is there's an extension of the rear of the property yep. that's, that's two storeys. So how we built the front of the dorm had changed slightly, and we had to add a steel beam into the floor structure at that point to bridge over the extension. But other than that, it's been, been very straightforward. You say you're finishing on Friday? We are indeed. All the scaffolding coming down? So the scaffold will come down Monday or Tuesday next week. Yeah. Um, so then the customer has got the home back and it's ready for them to put some paint on the walls and put some carpets down and move straight in. So there was three, three windows to fit in the, in the front roof on this property. Um, so we've got two, two within the bedroom and then one over the stairwell. Um, and then three PVC windows throughout the uh, dorm structure. Do you find that is a better window to use for you personally within the projects? For us personally, it's going to become our new standard practice to use Ultimas. Uh, the building regulations have changed recently to hit a U value of 0.13 and to achieve that, the Ultima windows do help us keep in line with the latest regulations, so it will become standard practice to use Ultimas right throughout now. Yeah. And are you finding that there's more requirement for white painted windows or for PVC? Which are you finding? To be honest, it's each to their own what they prefer to see. Some customers like your traditional timber windows. A lot nowadays, though, they will opt for the PVC coated ones. It helps prevent condensation forming on them. There's no risk of mould long term mm -hmm. gro growing onto the timber framework. So it's, for ourselves, it's better because we know that they're going to stay like brand new for 20 years yeah. versus the timber ones, which can start to degrade over time. Yeah, I mean, the beauty of the PVC is it is virgin PVC and it's steel reinforced, so yeah. it's an insulated, so, and again, maintenance free, so yeah. it's a lot easier, isn't it? It is, it is. Especially in bathrooms, etc. Especially when there's a lot of humidity around, yeah. yes. It does it, it does help keep, keep things as, as they should be. So in here it's just final finishings off now, bit of skirting board and architrave, um, good clean out, bit of decorator's cork and it's, it's pretty much ready in here now to be honest. Um, bathroom suite's going in tomorrow, um, so uh, loft, loft wise it's, it's, it's pretty much there now. Going forward You've used Ultima on this project and you've mentioned you're going to use Ultima on other projects. What's the reason that you're going to use Ultima as opposed to a standard better safe window? So what, one of the key things with them is noise reduction, which uh, in this area it's a nice suburb, it's fairly quiet, mm. um, but other areas we work are much closer into the city centre, Not noise is a big, big factor. And with the Ultima windows, there is a noise reduction with, built within them, um, which will give customers a, a bit more peace and quiet, uh, mm -hmm. even when living close to the city centre. Um, we also have the, the U values as part of that. Um, uh, again, with the regulations that have been changing th throughout this year, the ad additional insulation properties that are within the Ultima windows does help us keep in line with the latest regulation change for U values. 
So the Ulsma window is filled with Krypton gas, which is a far superior gas than your typical argon gas filled units. Um, it helps keep the heat locked into the property in winter, but also in summer has the opposite effect where it, it keeps it nice and cool inside. This is the final week. John will be off site in a couple of days with everything completed. I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you for John and his crew for allowing us to film them and interview them and also to the homeowner for allowing us to invade his home. We really do appreciate it. Thank you.